So as you know, you can buy anything on Amazon. So in a world full of products, how can you find the best products to sell on Amazon? One of the easiest ways to find trending products on Amazon is by literally going to Amazon's bestseller list. Amazon is literally giving you the answers to the top 100 products in every subcategory. So if you go to amazon.com, Amazon has a section called bestsellers. And essentially what this will tell you is the top 100 products that are selling at every any given time. And for example, you know, I, I sold in beauty and personal care before. You can check out the top 100 products for beauty and personal care. And you might come across things like, oh, like this pimple patch, for example, that's really interesting. Um, obviously that has over 75,000 reviews and you might wanna check out all the other competitors to see you know, how many reviews they have. But when I see something like that, obviously it could be a saturated market because 75,000 reviews is a lot and it's going to be very difficult for you to catch up to. You know, we might want to check out new releases in beauty and personal care, see if there's anything interesting to us. Um, Mr. Mrs. Myers is a very big brand right now, so you might want to stay away from things that are dominated by large brands. So if something's ranking really quickly and it's a new release, that means that you know there's an opportunity there because these are new products that are already making it to these top 100 lists, which is really cool. And then you have things like a face steamer, like a facial steamer, which is really interesting too. So you know you can click into these products, see and check out their listings, see if there's any room for improvement. You know the images are okay; they could probably be improved by a product like this with only 18 reviews. It's number one in new releases for facial steamers. We look for areas where we can improve not just the product itself, but the way that we market it. So if someone is doing really well in new releases, um, that means that they're performing well with a not very optimized listing, which is really interesting. Now, if we pull up X-ray tool with the Helium 10 Chrome extension, we can see, you know, in the last month, they've, they've done $37,000 a month, basically, is what their current sales is telling me. So um, with their current sales, it looks like they have, you know, increased pretty consistently over the last, you know, month. So they went from doing about 18 sales a day to now doing, you know, about 80, 70, 89 sales a day which is pretty good in the last 30 days. Typically when you look at, you know, the listing itself, you'll find somewhere in the title, the main keyword, if they're a good seller, then chances are they're going to have the main keyword in their product listing title. So we might want to look up, you know, facial steamer. It looks like what their main keyword is or face steamer for facial. Um, so make sure you have this selected to all departments. and then type in facial steamer and we can check out to see, okay, what are the other competitors doing? You know, this person has 29,000 reviews, a couple thousand reviews. These are the top sellers. Obviously we, we scroll past these ones. The top four is typically going to be your sponsored ads. So, you know, we usually just disregard those and we want to focus on the, the main four that are organic positioned products. So if we scroll a little bit more, we can see, you know, Amazon's choice for portable facial steamer. So this only has 22 reviews, but somehow it is still on page one. You know, 25 reviews still on page one for that specific keyword though. Keep in mind, facial steamer might not even be the main keyword that we're looking for. So what we can do is pull up the x-ray tool. It's going to tell me, you know, the search volume that we get for facial steamer, which surprisingly is doing $94,000 a month, or sorry, 94,000 searches a month. So it looks like over the last year, uh, even before it had a lot of traction, you know, you're getting high search volume and it seems to be a lot of peaks and valleys, but consistently, you know, on average, if you look at a medium, probably doing over 100,000 searches a month uh, in overall since 2019, it looks like. So this is a fairly high volume keyword, which means it's probably one of the main keywords. And like I said, you know, usually good sellers will input the main 
keyword somewhere in your listing title. Something to keep in mind for when you start doing the copywriting for your products, you're going to want to put the most relevant keywords in. But, you know, just at first glance, there might be some opportunity here for a product or listing a product um, similar to this. Maybe if there's a way you can make it better, like you're seeing here, a lot of people are adding accessories. So this has, you know, like a pimple popper tools included with it. It shows the box. So it does a really good job of doing that. It's over 15,000 reviews. Clearly it's a, you know, a very well positioned product. You even have this one here with a really cute headband for washing or your, for holding your hair back. So think about different ways that you can differentiate your product. I am curious to see what kind of revenues these products are doing. So if I pull up X-Ray again, you know, I can filter this by number of sales. So obviously the top selling product sells over $600,000 worth of this product a month. And that's, that's absolutely crazy to me. Now it probably is a really great, you know, gift product. So maybe this time of year it happens to, you know, sell a lot more, but you can see like this product here, it seems to be, um, there's a lot of peaks and valleys in this product here with the sales graph, but for the most part, you can see, you know, a lot of products are basically positioning themselves on a, on a really upward trajectory. So once you, that just goes to show once you've, you know, solidified your product as a good product and you start building up on the listing and the reviews start to, to add up, uh, your sales potential goes up as well unless you obviously go out of stock, but definitely an interesting product because you know, you can see some of the top sellers selling over uh, six figures a month with this one product. So really, really interesting. Might want to add this to your hot list of products to validate, to see if it's worthwhile for you to sell. We'll get back to it in one second. All of this content is free. So if you're enjoying this video, let us know by smashing the like button back to it. So the second method I'm gonna show you guys to find hot selling products is by using a tool called Helium 10. They have actually a, a black box product research tool built into their suite of tools. And I'm gonna show you how I filter out different products to get inspiration for products that you can potentially sell. So if you jump into Helium 10, I wanna show you guys how I use black box to help me find potential winning products, but also opportunity products. So these are products that I can sell and basically come into the market as a new seller and potentially dominate. So quickly, just hop into helium10.com. Once you log in under the tools section, you're going to find product research tool, um, black box. It's the Amazon product research tool and basically just navigate to black box. And there's a couple of different ways that you can, you know, play around with this and I'll, I'll break it down for you in terms of which parameters I like to, to use and play around with. But essentially what you do is uh, there's different filters that you can play with. And basically this will spit out different products that meet those specific parameters. So for example, you know, the first parameter or filter that we want to use is your categories. If there's a specific category, you know, you want to sell in, you can click on it and basically look for a product specifically in that category. So if I'm interested in things like baby beauty, you know, we have cell phone and accessories. I know a lot of people who sell cell phone cases, making a killing that's potential. Um, I'm just gonna not click that for now, just so that we can hone in on more specific search results. Um, I usually don't, I stay away from collectible coins, computers and accessories, anything that's like electronic. Typically I don't like to dabble too, too much in it just because there's a lot more that can go wrong with electronics. So that means that your return rate might be higher. Grocery and gourmet food, usually I stay away from just because it has a shelf life. If it's one of your first products that you're launching, you don't want to sell something that has basically like a ticking time bomb on an expiry date. So usually stick away from that. Handmade products, not scalable, because imagine trying to make, you know, thousands of knitted sweaters. <laughs> That's not scalable unless you have like a whole factory behind you. So next filter we want to use is the monthly revenue filter. And this is where I would set, you know, a minimum monthly revenue, because you want to sell products that have opportunity, not products that are just going to sit there at Amazon's <laughs> warehouse for months on end. So I typically like to look at products that are, you know, selling anywhere, selling more than 3000 or $5,000 a month. And obviously you can play around with this. 
a maximum you can set. Uh, but I personally don't like to put a ceiling on how much of a revenue that I can make. So usually I leave that open. Price point, typically I like to sell products that are selling more than $12 a day because after all the Amazon fees, the cost of the, the product and everything else, if you're selling for products for less than $12 on Amazon, typically you're not gonna be making that much. Your margins aren't gonna be that great unless you're selling, you know, there's always exceptions to the rule like, Stickers, for example, might cost you a couple cents to make a pack of 50 to 100 stickers. And for price point, you can set a maximum price point that you want to look for products maybe that sell for less than 200 or $150 because you want to sell things that are too expensive because oftentimes that means that they're also going to be more expensive for you to manufacture. And then your review count to find opportunity products we want to use this filter and set a maximum number of reviews so if we set a maximum number of reviews to like 200 basically what this is going to show us are products that you know are selling over five thousand dollars a month but with only less than 200 reviews and that means that there's you know opportunity products there because they have few reviews um, and then again, another way to filter out more opportunity products is by setting a review rating maximum. So if you set that to like a 3.5 or a 3.6 or 3.7 star review rating, this means that there is room for improvement for these products. And because obviously there's something that people are complaining about about this product. So again, go into those negative reviews and see what's wrong with them and see how you can improve them and fix that problem. And then shipping size tier filter. Uh, I like to typically sell, like I said, smaller or medium sized objects or products. So typically stay away from the large oversized because again, more expensive fees. And then of course you have advanced filters and these are things that you can play around with and these will spit out different products as you start to filter, you know, and use these different um, filters. So another one that I like to use is the number of images. This is another way for you to basically get um, opportunity products and find listings that aren't fully optimized by setting in a max number of images. So this means that you could potentially go in and, you know, optimize your listing, make it a lot better than your competitors and therefore, you know, do better in sales and just end up getting a piece of that their market share. So with this in mind, uh, we're just going to hit the search button and this is going to spit out some results for us to then take a look at. So let's see what kinds of things we, we get. Looking Tiger Pop Authentic Gymnastics Wrist Supports. That's interesting. If you're into gymnastics, like I don't know how that's even possible, but they have zero reviews for whatever reason. And, oh, it looks like they have a bunch of different variations, but yeah, they're, they've sold over $71,000 <laughs> a month, which is pretty crazy <laughs> if you think about it with zero reviews. So if that's something you're interested in, it might be worth looking into. If you, you know, take an hour and just play around with these filters, you're gonna be able to find so many different incredible product ideas that you could potentially sell brand it as your own and make improvements too. You made it this far. Thanks for sticking around. Like I promised, I'm going to be hooking you guys up with my top four product picks that you can sell right now. Just head to the description, download it below and make sure you like this video, subscribe and comment below because we're going to be reading through and seeing what you guys want to see in our next videos. And that's it. I hope you guys got everything you wanted out of this video. Leave a comment and let me know what you want to see next. We'll be in there answering every comment. Now, if you do want to come learn more with me, I'm inviting you personally to come attend my free training with Founder. By the end, you should have your exact roadmap on how to explode your income on Amazon. Let's go do it. Hey guys, hope you're loving our videos and that you're getting heaps of value from them. If you are, make sure to hit the like button and make sure to subscribe to join the Founder Fam. If you did enjoy this video and want to continue to master your skills, make sure you click here to access your free training now. We will go into way more depth with this founder.